to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your monthly general message for October 2020. Yes, yes, yes. This is going to be October. I feel like it's going to be a lot of changes for everyone. 10, 20, 20. Yes, a lot of changes. Angels and guides, angels and guides, what is going on? What is going on? For Pisces, yes, yes, yes. For Pisces, for the month of October. Angels and guides, angels and guides, positive energy, please. Positive energy for Pisces. Yes, yes, and yes. What? May we have one more? Where is it? There it is. Is there it is okay? So moving on to the angels of light deck for Pisces. That is interesting because that fell right there, which means which means that's where it was meant to be. <laughs> angels, may we have thank you one more, and there it is. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Now, how about <laughs> the dragon's deck? How about the dragon's deck for Pisces? Angels and guides, positive energy, positive energy for Pisces for the month of October. Mm -hmm. Month of October for Pisces. Moving on to, I feel like that, you know what? I feel like that goes there. Now, let's, let's move on to my mama's deck for Pisces. Angels, we're looking for high vibrations. Yes, high vibrations for Pisces. Whoa, angels, what is going on for Pisces for the month of, for the month of October? And I feel like we need to add the angels of light deck. Yes, 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 for Pisces, the fishies. What's going on, angels, for the fishies for the month of, yes, for the month of October? October. And are we ready? Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready to top it off with the hummingbird deck. Positive energy, high vibrations. Yes, for Pisces. <laughs> for Pisces. Yes, angels, may we have, oh, and one more. Just one more. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Now, let's tidy up Pisces and get right into your message for October. Okay, so major theme for the month is the page, the page of cups reversed with the angel of blessings, vulnerability with the ace of clubs, the four of diamonds, the angel of stability, the king of clubs, and the five of clubs. So I feel like the page of cups reversed. Someone is coming to you with, with um, love. I feel like love that they didn't offer you in the past, okay? Maybe they, were un, they weren't able, able to offer this to you in the past. Maybe they were in a different place. Maybe they just hadn't grown up yet, right? But I feel like they're, they're um, offering you love. And, and this is a blessing, the angel of blessing. You feel very vulnerable in this situation because you haven't been in this situation for a while. I see these conversations. These are new conversations about security. And I feel like this is going to bring stability in your world with the king of clubs you're gonna have you're gonna feel a sense of control but your mind keeps wandering like really are they gonna go back to yeah yeah exactly are they gonna go back to the way they were before now this could be a romantic relationship this could be a child a parent someone who wasn't able to offer you emotionally what you needed in the past, but they are now, okay, in October. Now, when we look at your recent past in Pisces, we have the four of wands reversed with the, and I feel like, I feel like, I feel like there is an element of in the past where you felt like, I don't know why, but I'm picking up you, you didn't get enough rest. I just, I don't know why. And yeah, and, and I feel like, I feel like, or, or you didn't get enough rest, or maybe you slept too much, or something of that nature. But no matter what it was, I feel like you, you, you were still okay. Oh, you were still, you were still okay. You were still able to function during the day with the Jack of Spades and the Jack of Hearts. I feel you had a lot of energy, a lot of energy. You had faith. You definitely had faith in. It's almost like in any 
project that or anything that you needed to speak on you why do I feel like you were working a lot why do I feel like you were working and even if you weren't working a lot you were definitely thinking about working a lot and I feel like that work led you to success whether you're thinking about it or whether you were planning it whether you were in the process of it I feel I feel like you were you know what? I feel like you were working towards uh, success, and I feel like you were right at that moment in the recent past. Okay, so now let's move on to the middle of the month. We have the world card reversed with the angel, with the angel of flow, and the place card with the nine of hearts and the three of clubs, the angel of frolic, the ten of spades, and the three of spades. So I feel like in the middle of the month, you have the world card reversed. So I don't feel like things are moving in the direction that you would like them to, but I see with the angel of flow, you are flowing with it, right? If they're not move, you're like, oh, okay, all right, I'm just gonna flow with that right where you are. You're not gonna, I don't see you, leave, just because things aren't going your way, I don't see you moving in a different direction. I see you saying, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see this through. I'm definitely gonna see this through. This is a labor of love to see this through, and I see that you are a bit of worried about it, but, but. You're, there is some fun in this while you're waiting as well. I do see work around you and I do see this work is very successful and creative. So if something, if you're starting a new career, if you're starting a new job, if you're I feel like what, or you're on a job, whatever it is and it's not going your way, Flow with those energies because your flow, it's its taking you into a direction that's going to lead a lot of success. And I feel like this is a very creative thing that you're doing. And if it's not a creative thing that you're doing, you may be working two jobs at one time. You might be working a full-time job and a side hustle. You might be painting. You might be um, creating music. But whatever it is, whatever isn't working out, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. And it will, slowly but surely, it will turn out the way you want it to. Okay, so now when we look at the end of the month, we have the moon card reversed with the angel of health and the gather card with the six of diamonds, the nine of spades, the angel of grace, the seven of hearts and the seven of spades. So by the end of the month, I see things are very, very clear now. And I, I feel like this is making you feel not just spiritually good, but it's also making you feel physically good. The I see you gathering, you're gathering all of your resources and I feel like they are coming, they are just flowing, they are flowing. With the nine of spades, you are definitely letting go. You're letting go of, I feel like there's a, a I feel like not letting go, a completion. There's, there is a completion going on here. Let's see what this completion is about. Well, you have definitely the angel of grace is on your side. With the seven of hearts and the seven of spades, I feel like the completion has to do with um, situations that have not been working out for you in a while. The angels are giving, that's ending. The angels are giving you grace. And I feel like, I feel like you're going to start releasing energies that don't flow in like if it's, if it's not flowing towards you or if it's not just flowing, I feel like you're going to let it go. You're going to let go of all the negative energy. You're letting go of all of the worry. You're letting go of all of the um, hurt feelings, I feel. Because things are now clear. I feel like... I feel like whatever was bothering you in the middle of the month, whatever wasn't working in the middle of the month, I feel like by the end of the month, you're going to give it grace and you're going to let it go into the universe, okay? All right, now, when we look at your bonus, you have the sun, and that, that could be a project. If a project isn't working out, you're going to let it go. If um, you're going to give it grace, you're going to thank the universe for that experience and you're going to let it go. If it's a home, if it's an apartment, if it's a job, I'm, I'm going to 
give it grace and let it go, right? Yeah, I definitely, I feel like when you let it go, oh, yeah, then you're gonna watch all those wonderful things start showing up in your life. Okay, now, when we look at your bonus, you have the sun card, reverse, with the nine of cups and the angel of mother love, with the angel of sisterhood, the growth card, and the two of diamonds, the ace of spades, the angel of grief, with the two of hearts, the seven of clubs, and the king of hearts. So I feel with the bonus, it feels like a matter of, like, you're not as happy as, as, as you were. But it's funny because you're like, Dora, that's not funny, okay? Well, no, it's like you're happy that, I feel like you're happy that something didn't work out. Some, or you're happy that something didn't go your way. Um, that's what I'm picking up. You're happy that something didn't go your way. With the angel of mother love, there's. I feel like you're you're ready to nurture something new. I see you talking about this with someone dear to you. I see the growth in you, Pisces. It, and this has to do with your partnerships. This partnership could be a romantic partnership, a business partnership, but whatever it is, it is definitely something new. Once again, thank goodness for unanswered prayers. With the angel of grief, you are with the seven, with the two of hearts. There has, I feel like there has been something in your life or someone in your life that hasn't, um, I feel like that hasn't been, it's like they haven't been making you feel good. They haven't been making you feel good. But with this, with the king of hearts and the seven of clubs as your final cards here, I feel like you're, why do I feel like you're giving something else a try? Something wasn't working before, and I see you giving something else a try. And I feel like you're happy about giving something else a try. You're taking on this project like, you know, that didn't work. It didn't bring me happiness. So now, yeah, it's not necessarily you're moving on. I don't see you necessarily. This is interesting. I don't see you moving on. I just see you saying, okay, that didn't work. Um, I'm going to try something different. Maybe you kind of put something on the back burner. Yeah, and, and while you're you're trying to see, well, will this work? Will that work? Well, it could be um, it could be a new project. It could be a new relationship. It could be a new house or an apartment or, or something like that. You could be building something. Maybe you're working on minimalistic and you want to move into a van or a tiny home. But while you're doing that, yeah, you're... While you're trying that out, you make sure you have, you're making sure you have your brick and mortar at home, okay? All right, so I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.